Mael is a character that honestly I can see becoming a staple for PvE depending on what characters we end up getting in the near future. The only problem that he has that I already foresee for this video is the limited limitation of having to use full goddesses. Man, if we get better goddesses in the future, I'm telling you, this is gonna be crazy. Mael is gonna be so insane because in Demonic Beast, you can have four characters giving you a maximum of 120% for this card. So, we're gonna start with Bird. Uh, of course, we have all four beasts. I'll be doing this video, Bird, Deer, and Dogs. Uh, the new beast, I actually already done a video using my L on here with the Freya Holy Relic, because the Freya Holy Relic is actually made to be paired up with my L in the first place. So, you can already tell that they are actually you know, probably going to be releasing some good PvE goddesses in the near future, which will make him even better for future PvE activities, if that's actually the case. Uh, but Bird here is going to be the only one we're actually going to be able to use a full goddess team, because Bird is a pretty old activity by now, so we don't need Megalda. All the other, you know, like the other activities, you kind of need to use the unit made for it if you want to win. And, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> Jormungandr is unknown, and then Tonar is human, so I can't make a full goddess team. For all, for both of them, I'm gonna try my best to have as many goddesses as I can, but regardless of it, because I won't have a full goddess team, I actually will not be able to have this part of the passive, the 20% damage reduction, and... With that, the best part, which is the sort of like amplify effect that it has up to four times. So, a little bit unfortunate. Let me actually see how much damage he does. Kind of a waste, because I think that card will actually do insane damage in the last phase. But this has an un this, this, you know, phase is uncapped, so I just want to see damage. That's pretty good. For a level one card to one shot like that, that's pretty good. I've seen characters do that much. Like, Askenor, you know, is honestly a, a uh, pretty high standard of damage that we have already in the game. So it's like, it's really difficult for me to say, oh, this is insane, you know? <laughs> uh, but it's pretty good. Also, I need my out cards uh, if I want to beat the next phase. So, because I think I'm going to need my out cards to actually do damage. Um, game, could you please give me some? That'd be great. Nope, Liz gets most of the cards, and we haven't got a single Mael card since the beginning. We only got the two initial guaranteed ones, uh, so that's fantastic. I'm gonna have to waste these Liz cards. Like, the ultimate is useless next phase. Oh, it, no. I don't remember if it is useless, actually. I'll keep the ultimate. I'll waste these cards. I don't know. I know the level 3 OE is pretty good. Damn it. It's fine. The ultimate is not gonna actually be wasted, I just click, just just to click. Damn it. Give me one my out card. Bro, Liz! I swear to god if I die here. Oh no, I can't ult. I need to do the AoE first. Alright, that's not what I meant to do. I swear to god, Liz. I need one my out card to just see the damage. I haven't got a single one, not an AoE, not a single target. You have to actually be joking me. Alright, your stats are super high, so it's gonna do damage. Yep. Yep, yep. Yeah, I know the AoE was pretty good. Okay, I got an AoE, but I want a single target. The AoE might, might not even do damage, actually. Guess we'll find out. Okay, well. Maybe I was a little over too confident with the Sour Elk counter. <laughs> It's obviously not going to do any damage, but... It's not like we're taking any damage. I have so much damage reduction. My stats are so high, too. Like, I don't have Megelda, but still I have such high stats. 52,000 attack. Let's do this. Um, give me my single target. We're not going to kill here, so... Oh, this still did damage. That's actually pretty impressive. It's a 100% it's a multiplier. Like that, okay. I, I'm i gonna restart this. I actually wanted to see the single target on this phase. Right, I'm back, I only got one. 
extra. Like, I didn't use my initial one, I only got one, but it's fine. We're gonna be doing this so that they don't combine. I wanna see the damage coming out of these single targets at level one on phase four. Again, my stats are so insane, right, from all the goddesses. Listen, for a level one card, the only level one I can see being better than this is like a fully built up Trader Melee level one. Even level 1 from Trader Mally can struggle. I missed way too many crits there, but I guess his creator resistance is really high. Even like Trader Mally level 1s can struggle. So like, because if you miss the crit, he doesn't even do damage. But obviously, the missing Megaldon, which would be giving us such also high stats, is a you know unfortunate case of uh, this character having to only have goddesses. All right, let's uh, wrap this up and then I'm gonna go to the next phase, which I think the next two floors will be... Oh, the AoE weirdly does more damage than the single target. Or I think it did like a little less, but if you could, like comparatively, right? The AoE has a 100% multiplier. It's crazy to me. Just the double crit damage is so insane because he just has so much crit damage as is and then Sauriel gives crit damage. His stats are super high. Yeah, we'll finish up with the ultimate, which will do damage cap. By the way, for the ones that aren't gonna wanna come, like, go back and watch the video on the snake boss that isn't gonna be on this video, just know that he's optimal for it. But he is like, in, he has a case of like, if you have more dupes. The dupes will help you out so much on beating like floor three, which is pretty annoying. But if you if you have like one six mile, people can easily beat floor two still using mile with the new uh, holy relic for uh, Freya. So even if you're you know only pulling and getting unlucky and only get the the guaranteed, just know that just regular mile with one six is enough to actually complete floor uh, two. Which, honestly, for most most players should be the focus right now. Floor 3 of that beast is just a nightmare. It's not unbeatable or anything, but it's just incredibly, incredibly dumb. Uh, Liz's heal will come in clutch here. Because, how much... I mean, because I don't have uh, Megalda, I miss on all the lifesteal, really. So... This should kill. And then starting next phase... We will um, need the counter. That's why I saved it. Very good. Yeah, Sauriel. Hmm. Now I'm starting to be a little concerned for Sauriel, but it should be okay. Should be okay. Let's do the, the single target in the AoE. Because Sario is going to be tanking on these hits, but so long, I think so long as I have the damage reduction from my L plus from Margaret, should be alright. And damage cap, of course. Is it damage, damage cap? It is. Unfortunately, we are being stat lowered. Uh, the blocking stat lower. Ooh, that was no damage. Wow. The thing that blocks stat, stat lower is only in PvP. Very sad, but it is what it is. I was gonna do the AoE thing, but I have a taunt, so I'm good. And I'm gonna counter this. Nice. Next phase, we will... Um, do this right here. And then wait. Because I actually need to kill in the next turn, not this one. I'm not very confident, actually. Uh, maybe I should have been confident. It's just, I'm confident on Miles' damage. I don't know about like Liz's damage and stuff. Sario could kill though. No, he's gonna be so close. Real close, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll just uh, yeah, we'll ult with Liz here. Or no, we'll, we'll hold on to the ultimate so that we can uh, do the level 3 from Liz next turn. This will kill. 
Man, I'm a little concerned for Sauriel next phase, actually. But Liz's heal should help. It should help, so we'll proc this, and then we'll do this, this, and this. I want to actually do Miles level 3 just because it's not necessary because a level 1 or 2 will probably do damage cap, but... Oh, maybe not with the damage reduction, but... I will be alright. Um, I have revive in case... He dies, but we should be alright regardless, because uh, I got Miles' insane damage lower. Yeah, we're good. Look at that. Phase 4. No damage at all because of the damage lower. Okay. Oh, the, there's, there's a damage cap, so unfortunately we can't see how much this would actually do, but might as well. I love the look of Mael with the Asterosa haircut. And just a white robe. I actually should see this with other outfits as well, but... I think the Asterosa haircut matches up so much better. I don't know, maybe I'm a hater for the long hair. Alright, this is where, again, I'm a little bit concerned. He, he might die, and we might have to restart, and I might have to... Because I have no healing card, right? I might have to go back and use... Um, my, uh, not my, uh, Sour of HP defense is of attack crit like I'm using right now. But, you know, I want to use him with attack crit because I want him to, his counter to do damage. And his card to do damage as well, right? Because it's cleave. Oh, that's really good! Bro, this phase is so tanky. And I actually did, like, almost damage cap with a level 1 AoE. That's pretty crazy. Wow, just my stats are so high as well, right? Oh, he's dead. <gasps> Is that heal? Yeah. Nice. Ooh, that's so good. Man. Not just my L's damage, but like the team has such high stats, right? That even without Miguel, though, we're still doing pretty good. I have lifesteal, don't I? He lifesteal. Oh, it's because the counter's the heal. Um, I forgot. I'm gonna waste the Sario cards, though, because... Uh, uh, mm -mm. I'll do my L. There's no life steal anyway, so I'll just do my L's card. I don't want anyone to get ultimate, so I'm just gonna not combine. Yeah, I wanted to see if he does damage cap. Of course he does. Ah, oh, he's so strong, <laughs> bro. If we get more goddesses, he's gonna be so insane. Cause the thing is, right? I love Astarosa, but Astarosa, like he didn't have it for PVE, right? He he got kind of cocked because a lot of the activities as well. Um. A lot of the activities would also just block darkness, right? Like, even for, for demons to even do bird when Astrosa came out was really rough. Like, now, obviously, like, you know... Now it's fine. But, like, back in the day, when Astrosa first came out, it was really rough if you wanted to do bird with demons. Like, this is so much better than, again, when Astrosa first came out. I mean, even now. Trillium Alley is obviously the carry, right? Like, Purgatory Melee doesn't do much uh, for these Demonic Beasts, I feel like. I mean, for, like, dogs, he was pretty good for, like, just doing, like, like one big hit of damage. But for a bird, the consensus was, you know, truly Melee is still better. And we'll do this. It will kill. Uh, pretty confident it would kill. Uh, I'll move the Liz card. Actually, my actually, <laughs> I might actually have to go for the ultimate for Liz in case Sauriel dies. I'm getting a little concerned for Sauriel. I might need him to get a counter here. No, but we got the damage reduction. And I think I'm gonna ult with Mile. I think I have to. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'll save those Mile cards for next turn. I'm gonna ult with Mile so I damage lower him. Cause or else I think uh Sauriel might die. Look at that. That's like that's that's trailer melee damage, and I don't even need to like 
use the unit made for the activity, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, the Miguel the plus Thriller melee combo does what this is, and probably more efficiently, because I'm, like, scared the moment my character keeps, like, close to death, while Miguel would have just easily healed. Uh, but I'm not even using the character made for the activity, I'm managing to do all this. So I think this will kill. It should kill. Uh, yeah, we should be good. And then Mile, hopefully, will just eviscerate the next phase. And we're out of here. What is it? Okay. That's fine. Oh, perfect. So this will maximize my crit damage. And then we're just gonna do this. Damage cap, damage cap, damage cap, and it's over. Because damage cap on this phase is 35%. Oh, I should have gone level 1 first. Wait. Now we'll be alright. We'll be alright. Yep. 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 Like, I, listen, his damage is just crazy. I don't even, like, I wish I could see how much he actually hit. You know what I mean? Because the damage was capped. He hit damage cap all three times. Even with the level 1, he hit damage cap. I really wish I could have seen how much the level 2 did. This is where it starts getting pretty troublesome. I hate this team that I'm ha gonna have to use. First, when I'm, whenever I play Deer, which hasn't been a while because they don't make Deer Relics anymore, I don't like using light and dark characters. They don't contribute to the wheel. Second, I don't like using characters that don't have two attack skills. But there's no better blue character. <laughs> like, none. <laughs> so... We're gonna have to make do with what we have. Okay, so I'm, I'm not opposed to using a Red Sire though. Red Sire I think is pretty good. So, Margaret though, I... Ooh. That damage is pretty gangster. I That's a word I never say. That's how crazy that was. <laughs> 275 single target, or AoE. Okay. Let's bump this up. Real quick. That is a word that I never say, so you know that shows good. This is gonna hit super hard. This is a no damage cap. Okay, well he didn't have the attack buff, but still 880k. I was really expecting him to one shot, not gonna lie. <laughs> no, I did the order wrong! Yeah, give me a cleanse, Margaret. Damn it. Uh shit. God damn it. My bad. My bad. Green. I don't have blue, so. My bad. It's okay. It's okay. See, I don't have blue I I technically did have a blue card, but it was a or a blue element, you know? But it was a uh a uh a blue card, how do I say? A spell? I don't know. Boost? Buff? Buff card? Yeah. Not an attack card. Which is exactly why I deeply dislike using characters without two attack cards. Let's just let it rip here. Oh, he looks so good. Love this animation. There's a 25% damage cap on this phase, so... I, bro, ever since they implemented this on the, the health bar, so good. You can see exactly the, the damage cap that you hit. Just making sure, right? How many damage caps away you are from killing. I'm gonna have to go first with my L. Uh, then I guess we can go with Sauriel. And then after Sauriel is green, then it's blue. Oh, I can attack twice with my L, I'm stupid. There was no need to go for Salary, but it's okay. Doesn't matter, it's gonna kill anyways. There's green. Then there's blue. Mao hits super hard. I mean, obviously with the goddesses alongside him, he's getting all the stats plus Yormagander, that's pretty crazy. If Yorm was a goddess, which she might as well be, goddamn. But if Yorm was a goddess, and Mao was getting the, the full passive, with the stacks on top of the heads. That phase that we did 880k, I'm pretty sure we would have killed. 
I'm pretty sure. Because it would have more than double the damage. Um, let's do this. I am pretty damn sure we would have killed on that phase because uh, he would have done exponentially more damage just from having those, which is again, the problem. But honestly, look at his damage. Maybe I should have gone with, with Megalda in the first one. No, I don't think... See, Yorm is insane, right? Like, it's un it's incomparable. Yorm is so insane. She's giving, like, an absurd stat buff on top of rank ups. Like, Yorm is absolutely another worldly compared to Megalda. Like, Megalda's pretty good. Like, Yorm is another level, right? Like, look at this. Like, we have, like... We had, like, 51k, right? And the other one, and we're missing a goddess, right? Like, oh... 210% crit chance, 240% crit damage, like 81 lifesteal. 81? <laughs> That's because he's lowering our lifesteal. Um, oh, no, 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 no. I do not want to waste that card. No, I do not. Uh, this should kill, right? Yeah, if it doesn't, that'd be very sad. But it should kill. I just don't want to waste any... Okay, perfect. Any blue cards. I need them. Very much need them. Alright, Mile. You're gonna go first, buddy. Because you have to. Oh, you can't actually. Not on this phase. God damn it. You're gonna go never then. My bad. Uh, Red. Green. Blue. I can get frozen once. That's fine. <laughs> you can get frozen once. It's okay. I just want to see your damage, big boy. Can you do damage cap here? I, you definitely can. What am I kidding? Of course you can. Who am I kidding? Yep, damage cap. I, again, wish I could see how much damage it truly was. But, unfortunately, I cannot. It is not for me to see. Missing that damage reduction right now, not gonna lie. That damage reduction you get from just existing with my all. Alright. Red. Green. Uh, Yorm. You're getting a lot of cards there, buddy. It's alright. My all can finish it off. It's okay. My all can save the day. It's alright. See, the problem is, right? My all is not as good as Askana. And I'm just not even saying that because of the whole team composition issue. That is also a part. Escanor can do a second hit with every single single target. That's incomparable. Like, the, it's incomparable. Like, the true characters are incomparable because Escanor, being a light character, you have to only bring one of them, right? In this activity. And Escanor... There's a second hit. It's the same thing I said about Melee. Purgatory Melee. It's incomparable because Askenor has an inherent quality that no other character has. He has death on his finger. Literally. Like, he has a death effect on his single target. It's insane, right? Which is absurd for Deer. Because in the last phase, the Deer has that terrible, annoying uh, full heal thing, right? And Askenor just kind of bypasses it. If you time it correctly, it's it's incomparable, right? Like genuinely incomparable. Um, so Mayo is never gonna live that up. Like he's never gonna be comparable to Askenor because of that. So regardless of me playing with Mayo right now, I can like I don't even have to go to Flora Three to tell you right now. It's not worth using Mayo if you have Askenor. It's just as simple as that. It's just it's just the truth, right? Like, Askenor blows every other character out of the water. Incomparable. Uh, let's go... Uh, blue, red, why not? But this will still be pretty good. Or not, because we didn't have damage increase. Honestly? I feel like Askenor would have done damage. I don't know, it's been a while since we did the Askenor video. It's been a while. Would he have done damage? 
Okay, but we're, we're taking zero damage because of the, the damage lower, which is great. Which can only be applied at 5 and 6-6. Six, six. Uh, if your Mayo is not 5-6, it will be red, and the bosses are immune to red debuffs, but not immune to gray debuffs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, green, blue, red. Green. But it's just, again, if you have Askinor and you have Mayo, and for some reason you still need to farm deer in the holy year of 2023, it's like, man, no, just use Askinor. We're almost done with the slog fast that is deer. I haven't played the the new um, beast enough to say which is the worst beast of all time, but I still think it's deer. The whole like type gimmick was just so bad, so bad, you know. The new beast is absurd in difficulty. Like it's the hardest ever. But, I don't know, the deer mechanics were just so dumb. And they nerfed deer because they realized how stupid it was. Like, a lot of the stages and, and the passives, right? They didn't nerf the one thing they should have, which is the the full heal garbage. Um, but still, like, deer is... Whew, I'm gonna waste the Myel card. Honestly, like, Myel doesn't contribute, you know? So, if I'm gonna waste a card, it's gonna have to be Miles, not Sauriel, because I don't know if I'm gonna get a Sauriel card next turn. And I need Sauriel, but I don't need Miles. It's the same thing I would do for Askinor. Truthfully, it's the same thing I would do for Askinor. Maybe, maybe not Askinor. <laughs> it's just Askinor is so insane. Like, if I open up and I have two Askinor fingers in the next phase, bro, do you know how much damage that is? It's over, like, it's like 90% of their health bar, right? Because it's going to be 40, 40, is it 80%? It's it's nuts. I did get my uh, Sariel cards, thankfully. So we're going to start up with this. Oh, we have a level 3 because we ranked up. I haven't been letting like this rank up too much. Um, uh, then we go... Let's go green. Uh, no blue card! Literally what I said about <laughs> hating using characters that don't have two attack cards. God damn it. Okay, we're gonna go red, green. Well, this is technically blue, so. You know, I should have used the level 3. Start ranking up this level 1 into a level 3 again. Just one attack card, Margaret. <laughs> Just one attack card. You got this. You got this. Come on. All right, we got it. Nice. Again. Don't like bringing light characters to begin with. Ah. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I started to mention so many times, but like, Askinor is just different. Askinor is just different. Like, he, he is a different beast, right? It's like, when I say I don't like bringing light characters, I can make an exception for Askinor. And it's not me being biased. It's just me being realistic, you know? If there is a character that is worth bringing that's light or dark in this, it's Askner. Not Trader Mally, not Purgatory Mally, not Light Liz, that's for sure. And probably not Mael. But Askner? Different beast. Still the best thing in the game. Overall, the best PvP character in the game might be Purgatory Mally because all the garbage with... Uh, with... Uh, the, the clans and shit, but best overall unit in the game? Man, real hard case to say that Mali is better than Askinor. I kind of want the damage increase to last, but it's, it's useless. Damage increase is useless. I'm going to damage cap anyways. Um, Alright, let's do this. Then we kill next turn. Not this phase. This phase actually has a pretty high health bar. Uh, but next phase, there's no need for damage increase. All right, we can uh, kill here. We will pop the blue card. 
Mael and Yorm should kill from here. I I do not wanna waste. So we're gonna do this. Um Yep, I want to keep the Mile ult and level 3. The reason why I keep, want to keep the Mile ult is because I actually want to open up with his ult. So that I can apply the damage lower. Oh, I thought this would kill. One more turn, goddammit. If only this boss isn't such a slug fest. Alright. Let's finish him up. Wait, no! <gasps> I need a Yorm card! Okay. Whew. All right, red, green, blue. You better get a card. You better get a card. Then we're gonna open up with Miles' ult, which will encroach us, but we're gonna lower him, so it's fine. We're gonna lower his damage, so I think it's a worthy trade off. Okay. Not encroach, I'm in Kuro's. Yep. That damage is pretty funny. Alright. Uh let's blue card. This is the damage cap, which is about here. Yeah? Can we just do this? Well, let's see. The damage cap in this is 35, right? I forgot. Wait. I might be, might be in trouble here. No, it's not! <gasps> okay. I have to restart the game. Because of this god awful full heal. Alright, if I fail this, I'm just gonna. I don't think I'm gonna buff, actually. If I failed, like, if Yorm drops him under, I'm, I'm just gonna back out. Honestly, like, I hate this beast. It, it's just terrible. Wow, we didn't do enough damage. Oh, my God. Why did they have to make this garbage beast this way? You know, you've seen enough. I... Sorry. I'm not gonna keep restarting the game until I get a perfect, like... Under 30... Under 30% above 20. It's just awful. This boss is awful. Let's go to the dogs. Listen, I'm sorry. No matter how I try to spin it, the goddess characters are just not good enough for dogs. Margaret is horrible for this boss. I'm not gonna bring like red Sauriel, green Sauriel. Those characters just can't do it. I have to use real units, all right? So. <laughs> My bad. It's just not gonna happen. The only reason why, like, goddesses are even usable in the new beast is because Freya is considered a goddess, so you can just have a full goddess team, right? Like, without that, you know, it, it's just, it's just not it. Like, the goddesses are just really weak, so I had to, uh... Had to abide by having Mael here basically as a secondary damage dealer and Askener will do most of the heavy lifting. And um, it's just a bla blame the goddesses, man. Blame the devs not bringing goddesses because honestly, it's just Mael is really strong, but goddess characters are really weak. So. You know, like for an AOE to do decent damage is good, but especially with the fact that we have no other god. I should have saved that card. We have no goddesses here. We're just, you know, rocking him with true humans in an unknown. <laughs> I just, it's just not pot Like, it's just, the goddesses are really bad. There's no other way to spin it. The goddess characters are bad. Um, I'm gonna just go. Can I kill with this? I would like to save the 
like asking her AoE ult and stuff for next phase. Okay, that did damage cap. That's pretty good. The level 1 did damage cap on here. I don't know about floor 3, but let's see the AoE. Respectable. That's respectable. I mean, listen, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't use her at full power. I just can't. Like, the goddesses are shit. Let's use his ultimate, though. His ultimate is, like, in a one-shot. I believe it will one-shot. Yeah. Uh, it's 6-6. Six, six. But I think, you know... I think he hits harder than Askinor. At 6-6. Six, six. Like, 6-6 six, six Askinor versus 6-6 six, six Mile. He hits harder than Askinor. Uh, because of the... The mandatory debuffs that he just applies. But... It should, this run's gonna be chill regardless. We have Tonar's Relic. I guess I could have replaced Freyr with, like... Light Liz and dealt with the Ignites by just killing them fast? I guess I could have done that. It's just... Why would I do that? You know? <laughs> you know? Why would I do that? Is the real question. When... It's just really not worth it. The Goddess characters are bad. There's no other real spinning here. Light Liz is not a good unit. Right? She is a point maker for Guild Boss. That's what she is. That that That's the... The highest compliment you can give her, right? And then Margaret is just too old for an activity. Like, since day one, this activity came out, people, oh, use Margaret to cleanse. Oh, yeah, the boss seals buff cards. So, what, what do you want me to do? Just, he seals buff cards, you know? So, but it's fine. In, I think, in a few months, we're gonna be getting. Actually, let me attack with Mile here. We're going to be getting more goddess characters, so it will change up, and uh, that damage is uh, not what I wanted to see. Can you kill Oscar? No. Oh, maybe. Ah, uh, I was hoping to keep the fingers for next phase, but it's okay. We're going to remove this. We're going to combine these. Uh, Damn it. I guess I can move. Um, no, it's okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna combine these. We're gonna make space. And then my all will kill for us, right? My all will do that. Uh, we're gonna get Furrier's ultimate as well. Because Tonar gets an ultimate gauge once she attacks. And next phase is gonna be a breeze. Wow, the damage is horrible. No! 70k! I'm restarting the game. Listen, even if I was using another goddess, it would just be 7% attack related stats. The, the fact that I just don't have the full passive is what's killing him here. Damn, that was just so pathetic. I have to do this. That damage was just so pathetic. At least his ultimate is strong. It was just sad. <laughs> that, that damage was just sad. Uh, it is what it is. I mean... It's not, it's not a problem with the unit. I mean, I guess it is a problem with the unit. Like, but... It's a problem that he doesn't have a team. Um... We're gonna do this. This. I don't trust. I just, I don't trust him to do damage anymore after seeing that. But I have to. Can we kill here? Askar is gonna. Is, is gonna do as best as he can to carry here. Wow. Askar is AOE should kill. Okay. Well, it's a good thing we have Askinor. <laughs> Bro, he's so weak when he doesn't have a full goddess team. It's insane. But it's like, again, of course, that's not how he's meant. Like, that's not how they envisioned him. They envisioned him surrounded by goddesses. 
But it's just like, it, that's just not doable. Right now. It's just simply not doable. It's just simply not something I can actually do. The goddess units are bad. They just, like, aren't cut for it. And I would have to use a full goddess team, right? To rip the whole benefit. It's just not... Not really it. Okay. Well, uh, floor three shouldn't be too hard. Like, Tonar's Relic in combination with Askinar really carries. Like, insanely carries, thankfully. Askinar is just so insane. But hey, Askinar is using Miles Sunshine, so that, that should account for something. I mean, I'm not actually using his 20% damage increase grace, but you know. In theory, Askinor is using Miles power in his body, so... Um, I guess we should thank Mael for that. Let's do an attack here before he gets the defense and stuff. Let's just see how bad it is. Get the attack buff. It's really sad. Ah, you tried, buddy. It's okay. More goddesses will come. Hopefully. And you have your time. Of course we have, uh, we got like a bunch of Tonar cards, that's exactly what I wanted, obviously. Let's, um... Let's do this. Combine the Tonar cards as well, for more space. I just did that to get uh, some lifesteal. Honestly, the AoE, for what it is, is still pretty impressive. If I had a full goddess team, he would be hitting so hard. Like, I, I mean, if I had a full goddess team and a character that was act, like made for this activity that was a goddess. Like, that's, that's not... <laughs> that's not pretending if I was to see Margaret, like, Red Saurio and, and Green Liz or Light Liz, I'd be doing something. But, you know. Let's do this. Um, I'm just gonna dump these. I think they <sighs> might be a mistake. Maybe they, it won't kill. It should kill. Come on. Okay. I'm so like, I have no faith. I have no faith for him. Four mile. All right, we'll do this. Um, it's fine. Miles' ultimate is pretty insane, so I, I don't have an issue just dumping all these cards here because I'm going to go with Mael and ask for his ultimate. So I just want to make sure that we one-turn this. Not gonna lie, dogs is so fast compared to deer. No, the worst passive possible. Please don't be asking or oh, asking can be stat lord. Okay, we're good. <laughs> but he's losing the attack buff. Yeah, look. Asking technically can be stat lord. So he's being like the all the attack from uh, Tonar is being completely lowered, but it's okay. We should still kill the left dog here. Even if we don't, Miles gonna lower their damage so much that it's irrelevant. Like, cause they're not even gonna do damage to me. Yeah, look. Uh, we won't kill, but again, it's okay. Cause look. They have three stacks of the damage lower. Yeah. Even if uh, we didn't one turn, my L, my L's ultimate actually just covered my back. But that's because he's 6-6. Six, six. If he wasn't 6-6, six, six, we wouldn't even be able to debuff. Or 5-6. Five, 5-6 six. Five, six, uh, is great debuffs. So it's a uh, whale perk. Oh, let's let's do this. How much damage are you doing here, Mile? Level 2. Big man. Big man. Oh, that's not good. I mean, he doesn't have any attack buff from Tonar. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm impressed. At the end here, when Askinor got super lowered and uh, 
We need a savior, Mayo. You did something. I'm never gonna use you again for this boss. Uh, first, because they're probably never gonna make relics for this boss again. Uh, they're just gonna make the new relics for the new boss and ignore this one from now on, probably, but... If I am true, I will probably never use you again unless we get new goddesses, but... You know? You did something! <laughs> 